Hello, today we will be discussing the transmission symptoms and treatments of the neurotropic rabies virus. You may be wondering, what is the rabies virus? Well, let's zoom in. The rabies virus is part of the family Rhabdorvidae and genus Lysavirus. The rabies virus is an ancient disease. The rabies is a viral zoonosis that is transmitted from animals to humans. The World Health Organization estimates that annually 60,000 people die worldwide from the rabies virus, predominantly from Asia and Africa, which this map depicts. This map was received from the World Health Organization website. The structure of the rabies virus follows. It's an RNA virus and bullet shaped, approximately 180 nanometers long and 75 nanometers wide. The rabies genome includes five proteins, nucleoproteins, phosphoproteins, matrix proteins, glycoproteins, and polymerase. It's a helical ribonucleoprotein core, RNP. The glycoprotein forms approximately 400 trimeric spikes found all on the outside of the rabies virus. Now, let's discuss the transmission of rabies virus. The transmission, the transmission of the rabies virus follows, one, a bite transmission. Human infection typically occurs as a result of a transdermal bite from a rapid animal, or two, non-biting transmission, scratches from the rapid animal or saliva of the rapid animal comes into contact with the victim's mucous membrane or an open sore. So let's pretend a person's arm was scratched by a rapid animal. That would allow the virus to enter and start to replicate. After an infection, the rabies virus replicates and bypasses the host immune system. Once the virus has replicated, it binds to a acetylcholine receptor and travels along the nervous cell axon up until it has easy access to the central nervous system. It then can be accessed by the brain. Subsequently, it causes rapid acute inflammation and causing chronic infection. Now this is going to be the subsequent order of symptoms someone will have once they are infected. First, there's an the incubation period, which will last 20 to 90 days, but it has been noted that it could last up to years, this replication stage. First symptoms, the early symptoms, which can be fever, headache, last 2 to 10 days. First neurological sign, an acute neurological phase like anxiety, confusion can last 2 to 7 days. A coma symptom can last 0 to 14 days and unfortunately the last symptom is death. Let's talk about these symptoms. Fever and headache, throat spasms, anxiety, confusion and hallucinations, pain and abnormal feelings at the wound coma, and sadly death. Now, treatment. The first rabies virus was developed by Louis Pasteur in 1885. Current post-exposure treatments for someone who has been bitten follow three stages. Cleaning the wounds, administering rabies immunoglobins, a concoction of antibodies. And third, administering a course of the rabies vaccine multiple times, usually five dosages. There are cell culture vaccines, human diploid cell vaccines, purified chick embryo vaccines, most common, and purified Vero cell rabies vaccine. Purified duck embryo vaccines are no longer commonly used. So if you have never been exposed to rabies, you will get five dosage of the vaccine on day 0, 3, 7, 14, and 28. Thank you for taking your time to watch my video. I hope you learned something about rabies virus. 